Hello and welcome to a new episode of 7 Facts. Here we talk about the hidden and unknown facts of every territory, state or country of the world. There are also some history videos too, so if you're interested in such things, please subscribe. Bavaria, officially the free state of Bavaria, is a landlocked federal state of Germany, occupying its southeastern corner. With an area of over 70,000 square kilometers, Bavaria is the largest German state, comprising roughly one-fifth of Germany. The state is also the oldest in the country, having emerged in antiquity and coalesced in a political entity sometime in the 6th century. Even the name Bavaria or Bayern in German reflects its ancient source. It comes from the Latin word Bayuvari, meaning men of Bayer. Bavarians have often emphasized a separate national identity and considered themselves as Bavarian first and German second. When Bavaria became part of the newly formed German Empire in 1870, this action was considered controversial by Bavarian nationalists who wanted to retain independence as Austria did. As Bavaria had a majority Catholic population, many people resented being ruled by the mostly Protestant northerners of Prussia. As a direct result of the Bavarian-Prussian feud, political parties formed to encourage Bavaria to break away and regain its independence. Although the idea of Bavarian separatism was popular in the late 19th century and even in the early 20th century, apart from a small minority such as the Bavaria party, most Bavarians have accepted that the state is part of Germany. Nowadays, aside from the minority Bavaria party, most Bavarians still accept that the state is part of Germany. Bavaria's capital and largest city, Munich, is the third largest city in Germany and one of the largest in the EU. The city is a major center of art, technology, finance, publishing, culture, innovation, education, business and tourism and enjoys a very high standard and quality of living, reaching first in Germany and third worldwide and being rated the world's most livable city in 2018. The name of the city is derived from the old German term Munichen, meaning by the monks, reflecting its roots as a Christian monastery. Today, the city is a major tourist hotspot, partly thanks to the fact that after World War II, the city restored most of its traditional cityscape. It's also a major economic powerhouse and is home to some of the world's most well-known companies, like BMW, Siemens or Allianz. One of the main events Bavaria is known for is Oktoberfest. This is the world's largest beer festival held annually in Munich. More than 6 million people from all over the world attend this event every year. The festival has its roots in the early 19th century, when Crown Prince Ludwig married Princess Theresa and the citizens of the city were invited to attend the festivities held on the fields in front of the city gates. Ever since, Oktoberfest grew year to year and has become an annual event. Just so you know, roughly 7 million liters of beer are consumed during this festival. One of the major fields we think about when we talk about the Nobel Prize is physics. And the first ever Nobel Prize awarded to a physicist was a Bavarian, Wilhelm Conrad Röntgen. He was a mechanical engineer and physicist who, on November 8, 1895, produced and detected electromagnetic radiation in a wavelength range known as X-rays. By the way, he named these new rays he discovered as X-rays only temporarily, as a mathematical designation for something unknown. Today, Röntgen is considered the father of diagnostic radiology, the medical speciality which uses X-ray imaging to diagnose disease. There is nothing surprising in the fact that Europe has innumerable castles, and Germany of course is no exception. But some of them are just simply spectacular. Neuschweinstein Castle is one of those castles. Built in the 19th century by King Ludwig II of Bavaria, out of his personal fortune, this castle is considered to be one of the most beautiful in the world. 
Since 1886, more than 61 million people have visited it, with more than 1.3 million people visiting annually and as many as 6,000 people per day in the summer. And if you find this castle to be familiar, it should be. It served as the primary inspiration for both the Sleeping Beauty Castle and the Cinderella Castle from Disneyland. The Gabriel Film Theatre in Munich is one of the oldest cinemas on the planet. And in fact, it considers itself to be the oldest continuously operating cinema. It's been operating since 1907, but unfortunately, after 112 years, the cinema's history will come to an end, as it is set to close in 2019 due to a lack of customers. The family that runs the business since 1936 can no longer afford to keep the cinema open. So, if by any chance you visit Munich this summer, check out Gabriel Film Theatre. It might be your last chance. These were 7 facts about Bavaria. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. Leave your comment downstairs and do check me out on Facebook and Twitter. If you want to support me, consider becoming a patron. You'll find the link in the description. I hope to see you next time. Bye.